In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring a BGP peer with a route map. We're going to use baseline show commands of show IP BGP. And then we're going to customize a BGP peer with a route map. And route maps are one of my favorite things in BGP. Uh, you can do so much with it. You can filter with it. You can set variables with it. You can you can manipulate how routes are are done in BGP from um, once again, filtering or setting local pref or setting weight. There's just so many things that you can do with route maps. Actually, there's so much that you can do with them that I am going to have a dedicated video cheat sheet series just to route maps. So we're just going to graze the surface uh, in this video cheat sheet just to show you how you can do it. And then we're going to finish up with a verification show commands. So let's look at the network. We're going to be configuring a route map here on router 1. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get started. I'm going to do a show IP BGP here on R1, and as you can see here, we've got this. There's uh, just just real quick take a note that uh, there's a field here for all the prefixes that have been received and uh, you can set local pref here this is this is where if you were doing something special with local preference which is a BGP attribute to affect how prefixes leave your autonomous system uh, it would be right here well there there, there isn't any and that's uh, we're going to use that uh, when we set our route map what we're going to do is we're going to set up a route map and this is how you do that and once again I'm going to have a dedicated series just to route maps and we're going to set all the prefixes that are coming from neighbor 2 into router 1. So this is an inbound route map. That's what that means right there. I've called the route map router 2. So that references it right here. So all the prefixes coming in from this neighbor, we're going to set the local preference to 1,000. So let's make that happen. Let's configure this. We just configured the route map where we're setting the local pref to a thousand and uh, now let's take a look at this real quick let's before I hit enter you can apply a route map inbound or outbound. So we could have applied a route map here when, um, and you usually do this when you, you're filtering prefixes that you want to advertise out to somebody or to another autonomous system. So you can do inbound route maps or you can do outbound route maps. This one happens to be an inbound route map that we're configuring so that once again these are prefixes coming from router 2 from this neighbor. So I'll just say in. Then you have to clear, remember in a previous video cheat sheet, I showed you how to clear neighbors not only to a specific neighbor, but also to all the neighbors with the, uh, the splat or the shift 8. So I'm going to do a clear IP BGP specifically to this neighbor. And our neighbor just went down. And then I'm going to do a show IP BGP like I did before and before if you remember correctly we didn't have anything here under the local pref well I've set up an inbound wrap map so that prefixes that come from this neighbor come through this wrap map and get filtered but we're not doing any filtering so anything that comes from this neighbor will come through this wrap map and the local pref will get set to a thousand so let's check our show IP BGP our neighbor has just come back up so I'm going to do a show IP BGP and now where we had nothing we now everything that has a next hop of 12.12.12.2 now has a local preference of a thousand so that is how you set up a route map and specifically an inbound route map from a BGP peer so we did a show IP BGP to look at in this particular case the local pref then we customized our BGP peer to configure an inbound route map and we set the local pref to a thousand and then we did a show IP BGP to verify that all the prefixes learned from that peer had been set to local pref of a thousand. 